Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to modify graphics from Canva and make them your own. Many a times graphic websites they require that you modify their graphics and that you don't use them on their own without any modifications. And an example of such websites is FreePick. So FreePick require that you modify their graphics before you can use them on print on demand products. And they have a page over here explaining the process of modifying their graphics. And it's a similar case with Creative Fabrica. If you go onto their website, there's certain graphics that require modifying. You can't just use them as they are. And over here, you can see an example of it. So if you download this particular graphic from Creative Fabrica, and you put it on your book in this case it is a mug but if you put it on a book and let's say you just leave it as it is and you don't modify it then that's something that's not allowed and creative fabric clearly mentioned this however if you modify it for example you add in some color and it ends up looking like this then it's totally fine so in short many graphic websites they require that you modify their graphics and it's a similar case with canva so if i just click on any one of these graphics just on the three dots and then if i just click on this over here you can see that they do allow you to use their graphics for both personal as well as commercial uses. However, they do prohibit resending anything with standalone media. Now, I can only assume from this that what they mean is you can't sell graphics as they are without any modifications. And I've noticed in Facebook groups that many people who've used Canva graphics on their books have been having their books removed or accounts terminated. And I can only assume that such people have been using graphics from Canva without any modifications. So it's important to modify graphics the best you can. So firstly, what is it that you shouldn't do? So if I just add another page and let's say you want to create a book with a picture of a banana. So if I just copy this onto this page over here and let's say all you do is just have a picture of a banana and then just a little bit of a text. For example, you just type in banana notebook. Now, if this is your cover design and you just produce books like this and you upload them onto KDP, then there's no real modifications of any sort. And, you know, it's something that can potentially land you in trouble. So what you want to do is you want to somewhat modify your designs. And the first way you can do this is through text. So if I just copy this, what you can do is incorporate text into your design. And the text I'm going to use is this one over here. So you can see that there's this funny quote and bananas for you. Let's never split. So I'm going to add in this text. So I'm bananas for you. Let me just move this to the top. So if I just change the font of this to, let's say this one here. And then what I'm going to do is just curve this. So going to effects, I'm just going to curve it. And then just reduce the curve a little bit. So you can see that what I'm doing is I'm sort of blending in the text with the design. So that way it looks somewhat modified. And if I just copy this and then type in let's never split and then just adjust the curve. So it's going to be minus 56 instead of 56. You can see that I'm somewhat modifying the design. Although it's not modified to a significant level, it is still somewhat modified because as a whole, it's a totally different design compared to the first cover, which is this one here. So in this one, you're sort of using the graphic as is. Whereas in the second case, you're adding in text and you're sort of making it your own and the design itself is unique. So I'm just going to group this together and I put it here in the middle. So if you created something like this, then there's less of a chance that, you know, you can get penalized or in trouble by KDP. And what you can do is if you want to take your modification to another level, what you can do is play around with the colors. So if I just click on this, you can see that you can change the colors. So what you might want to do is just make it a little bit darker or lighter. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to play around with this and just adjust the colors slightly. And then also the brown color. So if I just make that a little bit lighter, you can see that it's looking different now. I've modified the graphic further. So if you compare this picture with this picture over here, you can see that it's different. And what if I want to modify the graphic even further? You can see that on this particular graphic, there's these dots over here. So what I'm going to do is firstly just cover them. So I'm going to head over to the elements tab and just select a circle. And you can see that it's already filled with the yellow color. Well, actually it's a bit of a different shade. So I'm just going to change it to this one over here. 
and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it over the black dots to cover them and then I'm just going to duplicate this and then again and then one last time So you can see that I've added in further modifications. So originally this is how the banana looked. And if you look at it now, you can see that there's significant modifications. And then if you want to take modifications to another level, what you can do is you can sort of recreate these dots. So if I select a circle again, and then just change the color to black, I can sort of add in dots of my own. So if I just place this one over here, and then just zoom in and duplicate this. So I'm holding onto the option key on my keyboard and I'm just gonna duplicate it and just create a few copies. So I'm just gonna zoom out and you can see that I've sort of recreated this feature of course you'd want to take your time with this and you'd want to place them a little bit better for the sake of this tutorial you know i don't want to prolong it and of course they can be placed better and you'd want to take your time with such processes so you can see that it looks okay and once again comparing it with the original banana you can see that there's significant amounts of modification so now neither canva or anyone can point their fingers at you and tell you that you've copied their elements or designs so I'm going to leave you at that and I hope I've shown you how to somewhat modify graphics and make them your own. And if you enjoyed the video then don't forget to like it and also make sure you subscribe to my channel for future videos.